Well, hi, everybody, and good morning to me. I'll just Travis Klineski here as we're off to a chilly start to our day with 20s, 30s in much of the area. A few 40s still hanging on in southeast Nebraska as the clouds are clearing out there. There's some patchy fog this morning, even a little bit of very thick fog to be in our morning. We should see a fairly sun-filled day today before maybe a couple of clouds come in from the west and southwest later in the afternoon. You'll also notice out west late today a few showers start to develop into the evening hours, a few off to the northwest. Otherwise, we'll wait on a better chance of showers later tonight, especially once again focusing on northern Kansas. Last night, we saw the same thing happen. Tonight, late night after midnight, we could see a few showers across northern Kansas, possibly far southern Nebraska. I have about a 30% chance for the Tri-Cities, but the farther north you go, the lower your chance of rain will be. While those will push to the east through the morning hours tomorrow, we may see a few more showers develop later in the day as a weak cold front moves through. That could trigger a few showers and maybe even a couple of isolated rumbles of thunder in the afternoon and early evening hours. Otherwise, actually slightly warmer despite that front coming through. Friday looks like a pretty nice day back to around our average high and even warmer temperatures heading into the weekend. So highs later on today, mostly lower 60s, maybe a few mid 60s out there for highs. Should be a really nice afternoon. Not a lot of wind, lots of sun few clouds late in the day. Tonight, not nearly as cold. We'll fall back into the low and mid 40s, a few 30s out towards the west. And then tomorrow's temperatures warmer, mid and upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Again, that small chance of rain later in the day. And then Saturday, how about low to mid 70s? Now, Saturday afternoon, a few storms may fire towards the mid to late afternoon hours in central Nebraska and then spread eastward into the evening hours. So as we look at that forecast, again, uh, Saturday is our next chance of really thunderstorms. Uh, still not a great chance of severe weather right now. There's not a ton of instability, um, even though we are going to be warming up. There's not going to be a lot of moisture. I wouldn't rule out a severe weather threat, but it's not a great chance. The Storm Prediction Center has us under a general thunderstorm threat, but not really a severe thunderstorm threat at this point here. Second half of the weekend just as warm still in the 70s although maybe a little cooler up north the frontal boundary is going to be draped in the area and this frontal boundary is going to be a major player in our weather heading into early next week now it could trigger some late day and evening showers and storms sunday maybe a slightly better chance of severe weather sunday and then as we get into Monday, I think much of the day looks to be dry, maybe an early chance of th rain and thunder. And then towards the end of the afternoon and into the evening hours, uh, another uh, chance of some storms here. And uh, with this chance, now first off, I will mention it's going to be fairly warm. That front's going to lift back into northern Nebraska, so we could be pushing lower 80s on Monday. But then as that front kind of uh, starts to kind of either stay steady or maybe move back to the south a little bit, storms may fire up. And what I'll tell you right now is the Storm Prediction Center does have us highlighted under a threat of severe weather Monday late day into Monday evening and when they're marking you under a threat of severe weather uh, five days out that means they have a pretty decent confidence in a chance of severe thunderstorms and I would say that's certainly possible we're going to see a lot more moisture as dew points climb on Monday and with that extra moisture in that front in the area warm front to our north uh, showers and thunderstorms will be possible so certainly stay tuned to the Monday forecast as we get closer we'll get a better feel for how that may play out now where things get a little more complicated that's Tuesday as uh Right now, I still have 70, which I had yesterday, but right now you have the European forecast continuing to go chilly, 50s for a high on Tuesday, but the GFS is still keeping us fairly warm or keeping a wide range in temperatures in the area. Basically, it's taking that front to our north on Monday and finally starting to drive it southward. So will it be all the way through the area or will it be, will it be somewhere in the area? Right now, we could see, I think, anything from 50s in the northwest to near 90 in the southeast. Some models do put the Tri-Cities up to the 80s on Tuesday. The warmer we are, the more instability we have, the better chance we would have of severe weather. So watch that part of the forecast as well. While there is a chance of rain and thunderstorms in the forecast Tuesday into Tuesday night, severe weather is possible depending on where that front is. So I'm just not real high in the confidence of the placement of that front yet. As we get closer, we'll get a better feel for that as well. But it does look like that all of us should be behind that front on Wednesday. And that takes us back to the gloomy, gloomy, crappy weather that we've been dealing with for the last couple of days. A decent chance of showers and chilly conditions. 50s for sure. And I would not be surprised if we're stuck in the 40s on Wednesday. And in fact, beyond that, Wednesday evening, I forecast a low back down into the 30s as showers clear up. It looks like it'll be rather chilly by early Thursday morning. Your long-range forecast does keep that cooler weather around for the end of next week here. We'll stay below average, maybe warming up a little bit towards Mother's Day weekend here. So kind of interesting to see as we're going to cool things back down again for the middle and end portions of 
next week. So hopefully that answers all of your questions. If not, you can always contact me on Facebook and on Twitter for any questions you would have about the weather forecast. Otherwise, I am going to be gone tomorrow. Kit will be in to uh, wrap up the week on your Friday morning. And, uh, and of course, he'll be covering the weekend as we get through the weekend. Of course, he'll have a better idea of how things might play out early next week. Otherwise, I'll be back on Monday morning, probably talking about the threat of severe weather later in the day on Monday. So we'll give you all of the latest then. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you all again on Monday. Uh, for, for me, uh, have a good long weekend, and uh, see you all again uh, early next week. Take care. God bless. Bye.